for COVID-19 remote patient monitoring specifically, we really wanted to be able to support uh, patients who are at high risk um, or who had risk factors for severe illness with a higher intensity monitoring uh, relative to the patients who were at lower risk uh, for decompensation from COVID-19 and who did not otherwise have any other chronic medical conditions or comorbidities that put them at risk for uh, significant complications. So it was more of a low intensity uh, monitoring. Regardless of which platform um, they are using, um, any time that a patient is reporting new or worsening symptoms, or if any of the vital sign parameters are out of range, um, that will prompt, it will automate an alert um, to our, our remote patient monitoring nurses. And then those nurses will check in with the patient. Um, they will take into consideration how the data has been trending, um, how the patient is feeling. Um, in some cases, they can even um, video in with the, with the patient and get that physical assessment, that eyes on too, which is so helpful to determine if further escalation is needed to our physician team. And then certainly they will do additional assess assessment to determine if we need to offer more care in the home or need to bring them into our emergency departments uh, or hospitals or clinics as well. It's a very unsettling diagnosis. Um, so when patients know that they are being monitored um, by a team of nurses and physicians and they're being digitally connected, um, that, that takes away some of the fear, some of the worry, knowing that, um, that someone is watching over them and they're um, just a phone call away if there are any concerns, um, whether they're self-reported from the patient or whether the patient simply picks up the phone and contacts our care team um, if they have questions or concerns. I think that's so important because when people are self-isolating at, at home, um, you know, we're used to, when we recover from illness at home, having our loved ones take care of us. But certainly in this situation, we want them to isolate, prevent further transmission of the virus. And so again, it really, um, as one patient described it, it was an angel on her shoulders, um, just having that, uh, having that care team monitoring so closely.